So this bridge dates from the 1870s when it was first built at Green Park Station. It was moved to this location in 1905 and it was uh, put here to connect the scavengers yard on the south with the new waste yard uh, on the north bank which was called the Destructor Works and that of course is where Destructor Bridge got its name. As part of the wider Bath Riverside scheme um, we need to put a new bridge uh, across the river to serve as the primary access into the development um, but also as an improved pedestrian cycle link uh, across the river. The bridge that you can see behind me can't stay. It's got just a single lane, it's got a height restriction and a width restriction and uh, really doesn't meet current standards. The new bridge will be important in a few ways. It's a two-way bridge as opposed to the existing bridge which is a uh, single lane. It's going to have vastly improved uh, access for pedestrians and cyclists so it'll have a uh, broad footpath on one side and a shared cycleway and footway on the other and it'll be an important north-south link uh, for, uh, for cyclists and pedestrians in the city and um, provide a new primary access into the development and it'll be generally just uh, an improvement to the local infrastructure and can also take buses. The new bridge is a very exciting design. It's going to be a steel bridge with a single arch across the river and it's been designed by um, Flint and Neal bridge engineers who have a fantastic reputation with uh, Knight Architects who are specialist bridge architects. So in time terms the uh, bridge behind me has been closed for a couple of years but tonight it gets uh, taken away and demolished and then in terms of the new bridge then the civil works will start in the next month or so and last six months and then the new bridge will be brought to site in sections by road and then assembled south of the river um, and then launched across the river in one or two days. And that launch will happen early in 2016 uh, with a view to opening the new bridge in early summer 2016. We've just got the barge in behind on the river. It's being put under the bridge to prop the bridge and then once that's ready they'll start cutting and, and lifting out the first section. We started on the 30th of uh, March uh, and we've been stripping the bridge, taking off the concrete deck and the tarmac and the kerbs. Uh, we've taken off a lot of the steel, de steel deck as well to lighten the bridge as much as possible. And then tonight hopefully we'll have the, the bridge onto the southern bank by the early hours of the morning and from then we can just work during the day breaking it up over the next couple of weeks. Last night was fabulous, all the men working, all the temporary lights up, very busy site for at night. We had all the residents behind us watching, very eager to see what was going on. Yeah, a fantastic experience to, to witness it all and then all the actions carried on today. And last night we tried to get the existing bridge out, we had both excavators either side sliding it back. Uh, but you can see from the lever we've got sort of half a metre uh, with the weight, we were struggling and with the weight of the existing bridge to get it over the existing ground level. So we went through the night and we, we packed up about two o'clock in the morning and tried again this morning. So we've done a cut on either end of the bridge just to reduce the weight between about 10, maybe 15 ton either side. So we've managed to reduce the weight quite substantially. And there's a lot of concrete built in as well. And we've just tried another slide, but again, it's just proven just slightly too heavy. So we've got two options right now. We can either get both excavators on one side, prop it up, 
again do the same on the other side and try to slide that way which I think we're going to have a, another go at. If that proves unsuccessful we're going to take another section out to reduce the weight and then hopefully that should be um, that should be the final piece of the jigsaw. This one at Bath Riverside has been a really good job. I've enjoyed it, been a great challenge. None of these jobs are normal, that's what makes it so interesting. You'll do one, it'll go clockwork, you'll do another one, you get a few little hiccups. And it, it can look sometimes it's gonna be really difficult, but then you'll find it's, it goes easy and another one can look it's gonna be easy and that's the one that'll catch you out. But you just gotta go and keep thinking your way around it. Think on your feet. It's all working as a team. And that's the most important thing to work as a team. Get it down safely, get it stacked up, keep the site clean, keep it tidy, and it'll go all right. This one's been a really good job, been a really good job.